Hello guys, welcome to Repurpose My Way. This is Shelly and we're working on a project with this tin hanging bucket that I have. Um, and I'm going to be using the Waverly chalk paint in moss color today. It's a beautiful green color. And um, I really like it. And I thought, well, it looks very springy and I'm ready for spring. I don't know about you. So I'm just giving this a quick uh, paint job. I'm gonna do two coats all over it. I'm um, doing the top lid there. It's got like a um, embossed or pressed, um, they're like leaves or something over the top that you can see. But I'm gonna have that open because I wanna have uh, some greenery coming out the inside. So I'm gonna paint it a little ways down so you can not see the um, gold color in there, which isn't that bad, but um, I like the green. So um, I painted the top and then I'm gonna dry it and then I'm gonna glue it to the holder in the back. And I'm gonna show you that in just a second here. So I'm gonna do that and then um, I just dry it with my dryer real quick. And see here I'm showing you, I'm gonna take my hot glue gun and I'm gonna glue that lid right to that hanger. It's still gonna leave me a little spot that I can hang stuff, you know, hang it on the wall, but um, uh, I want it open. So um, I'm just showing you here that I'm doing this, and I am actually doing uh, two coats on this. Um, it needed the two coats for sure. It was, you could see the, um, brown and the gold coming through. Um, here I'm doing the back. Also doesn't need to be done, but eh, I thought I would. And as I'm doing it, I realized uh, how different the colors are between the two, the wet and the dry paint. Um, when it dries, it's very dark. And I like both colors of the green. So um, I just thought that was pretty neat. So I'm showing you this Mod Podge because I bought these, wrote these uh, beautiful flower stickers called Roommates from Walmart. They're originally $10.97, I believe, and I got them for $7.70. Um, I thought they were beautiful, and I thought what great spring flowers to have um, and put them on something. I've never used these before. Uh, so I didn't know how sticky they were, so I thought I would use them for, or if they would stay very well. So I thought I would use the Mod Podge underneath and um, put them on this bucket. I thought it would be really cute. So I'm just trying to decide which flowers I want. My favorites are hydrangeas, but they were a little bit big. I'll save those for something bigger uh, and see what else. I can find there and I think I found the, the white there we go there it is um, so I got that blossom um, and decided I was gonna put that on the front so I put the Mod Podge on first and I don't really think I needed it um, 
I mean, it worked fine. It stayed, but it was a little slippery and I don't know. It was pretty sticky when I took it off. I think it would have been fine because I did go over the top of it with Mod Podge as well, but just to be sure it was going to stay, I did use a Mod Podge on this part. Um, and it just took some going over it several times and just kind of rubbing it and trying to get the bubbles out and stuff. Um, you know, normally as Mod Podge dries, it usually sucks everything down in anyways, so it's not really a big deal, but um, I, I wanted to get some of the wrinkles and stuff out of it at least. So, but this worked okay. I mean, Mod Podge dries clear, so it worked all right. So I just kept going over it and rubbing it and kind of working it around and pushing it down. I had the flower go up over the top and into the inside of the bucket because it was a little bit long and I thought it would look kind of cool. So I'm going over it with my, um, my Mod Podge to seal the top of it, keep it down. I wish I had cut closer to the edges with it. I just took, peeled it off and stuck it on and I wish I had done a little bit better job of cutting around those white edges and getting closer to the flower and the leaves. So here's another one I did uh, for the top. That one I did cut closer and I like a lot better. And I also didn't use, if you hadn't noticed, the Mod Podge. Um, I thought it was sticky enough that it would stick. And of course I did go over it with Mod Podge afterwards, so I think that would have been fine um, to do that with the bigger flower. I just wasn't too sure about it. So here I'm just trying to figure out, um, I think it gives you four or five sheets and uh, I, was, I just wanted to put, you know, like a butterfly or something on there, but I didn't want it to be the same color green or close to it, so I wanted it a little bit different. And I'm being a little better about cutting it out uh, and trying to get the white off there, off around the edges. showing here that I'm using my Mod Podge and putting it over those flowers on the top. I guess I didn't turn the camera on. I thought I did. Uh, here I am mixing my white Waverly chalk paint a little bit in a dish with my clear top coat. Uh, I didn't, I don't have any white um, top coat yet, so um, I'm just making my own and um, so I just put a little bit in here, a little bit of the white, and then I put some of the uh, top coat on there and mixing it together because I want a little bit of a white, white to it, but not too much. So it's just giving it a little glaze over the top. So you put it on, wipe it all over, and then I just took a paper towel and wiped it back. Wiped it off the best I could. And there, it makes it, it gives it such a nice soft look after doing that. Um, I also went back through and uh, went around the edges of that big flower. I don't think I showed it, but I took some of the green paint and went around the edges and clean those up so that you couldn't see that white trim that was on there. Um, I think it looks much better and it kind of sits into the bucket better instead of on top of the bucket. So here I am just wiping this the wax back or the top coat back. Um, I guess it's wax. I've been to, I guess I was calling it a top coat but it's wax and um, I'm just wiping it back and 
bringing out the flowers. See how soft it makes it look though? It just looks so soft and dainty and um, a little bit aged, like it's been around a while. And I just love it. I think it's beautiful. So these are the roommate stickers that I was talking about. This is what I bought. It's what they look like at Walmart. I don't know if they have, if they're going to keep these, if they just decided they didn't want to sell this kind anymore. Um, but they're just so bright and beautiful, colorful. Then I'm just going to show you a few of the flowers. These are the hydrangeas. I think those are beautiful too. They look hand painted to me. So, but then, um, and here is the uh, the price I paid for them on clearance, seven seventy. But here's the finished product, guys. Hope you like it. Thank you so much for watching my little bucket makeover and I hope you really liked it. Please like, subscribe and share this video and have a great day.